The display on a smartphone is very crucial. It can really make or break any great smartphone with amazing specs. There's no point having an amazing smartphone with the best specs in the world if the display is not living up to the expectations. Today we're going to be focusing on the two main types of display, LCD and OLED. Hello guys, I'm Luigi and welcome back to part two of a five part video series where I get to break down the smartphone and all its components. Today we'll be discussing displays and the two main types that are LCD and OLED. There are many different types of displays, there's AMOLED, there's uh, a liquid retina XDR, there's ProMotion, there's mini LEDs, LEDs, LCDs, OLEDs, but the two main ones are LCD and OLED and all of the others are pretty much just variations of technologies from LCD and OLED and some of them are combinations of the two. LCD stands for liquid crystal display and it's the most popular among smartphones just because how cheap it is compared to the OLED. LCD relies on something called TFT which stands for thin film transistor. On a TFT, each pixel doesn't need its own connection to be able to be powered on and off, which means that they're all lit up and controlled in a group instead of being controlled one by one. LCD performs really well in direct sunlight because they're backlit, but it does suffer from the color accuracy compared to the OLED displays. And then you would think of what LED stands for or what it is. LED is still an LCD technology, so they still are liquid crystals but they are also backlit but it's a slightly different backlit than the LCD. The biggest difference between LCD and LED is that LED does give you the light emitting diodes to backlit and LCD uses more like a fluorescent backlit. LED have an even distribution that allows for local dimming which improves image quality and has better contrast compared to an LCD display. Then we have OLED which is a technology that we start to see in a lot more on the latest flagship phones and higher end TVs as well. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diodote. It's comprised of thin sheets of electroluminescent materials that emits light when a current passes through. Opposed to LCDs are backlit, OLED diodes are always turned off unless individual pixels are being powered. The ability to be able to turn on or off individual pixels gives you a better contrast. It also gives you the ability to have better refresh rates but it doesn't perform as well as LCDs and LEDs in direct sunlight. So OLED displays have a much better contrast than LCDs and LEDs, slightly better color accuracy, but it doesn't perform as well on direct sunlight, which again, LCDs and LEDs tend to perform a lot better on direct sunlight because they're being backlit so the light comes from behind instead of being turned on or off. All the displays can be made thinner and can be made flexible because they don't require that back layer needed for backlit, which means you can have a smaller phones or you can usually find like the better TVs, the OLED TVs to be really, really thin, which they're almost as thin as your smartphone. So that's what OLED allows us to do right now in the current industry. And you have all the types of displays that combine both of the technologies from LCDs, LEDs to OLEDs as well. Types like LTPS and LTPO are one of the ones that we probably see a lot more on smartphones at the moment, especially on higher end smartphones, you will see a lot of LTPO displays. We'll get to those in just a second. LTPS is a variation of TFT that offers you higher resolutions and uses much less power than the traditional TFT displays that we've seen in the past. We have LTPO displays that was a technology developed by Apple which combines the LTPS uh, technology and puts it into LTPO and it gives you kind of like it can be used on both OLED and LCD displays and it gives you higher resolutions and it uses a lot less power than your traditional LCDs and OLED displays. Currently most higher end devices have LTPO second generation and what the second generation have done compared to the first generation is the ability to have a variable refresh rate on your display for your smartphone that can go as low as one hertz of refresh rate up to 120 or 144 or whatever your current smartphone has as the top end refresh rate. Which couldn't be done with a first generation LTPO because first generation LTPO only allow you to go as low as 10 hertz up to obviously whatever the max refresh rate that you have on your smartphone but then that means that with a second generation you can use less power when you're using things like websites that don't require higher refresh rates and you can just adjust on the fly depending on what websites applications, games that you're using for higher or lower refresh rates to be able to save you power and have a better battery life on your smartphone. 
And I wouldn't really lie to you, this topic was a tough one to research just because there's so many different devices and there's so many different displays that are out there. So obviously we have AMOLED, the Super Retina Display XDR, Liquid Retina XDR, uh, flexible OLEDs, LCDs, LEDs, mini LEDs, and there are just plenty of them. But by my research and the different articles I will link down below, LCDs and OLEDs are the two main displays that we kind of like, we need to really worry about in terms of what kind of displays you want on your house for either your smartphone or your TV. And then the others are just variations of those displays and just generations of those displays. But it all starts with a simple LCD and OLED. And then the others are just kind of like variations of those two technologies. And that just obviously keeps improving in time. So obviously nowadays we've seen OLED displays are thin, really, really thin for your house, especially for TVs, because it takes less space. And obviously we're starting to see better power consumption for displays on your smartphone. So then you can have a display on your phone that is nice and bright, but it doesn't take as much battery, which I'm sure we'll start seeing a lot more and more if we see like a third generation LTPL displays. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stick around for next week for part three, which is gonna be all on the cameras of your smartphone. So I'm gonna have a bit more, a lot of research to do for that one. Uh, obviously have an idea better than displays, but it's been good to kind of start this series because it's making me learn about my devices a lot more. And so far it's been good, it's been fun. I'm excited to make next week's video but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys on the very next one peace bye